Thanks, Sarah. Bob, how big is this place? There's 8,000 vines here on five acres, and we look after another 4,000 vines on the south coast of Cornwall. And you're about, what, 150 feet above sea level? Yeah, 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 quite low down. It's deceptive. It looks like we're quite high, but in fact, we're quite low down and near the river, which is good. And the climate must be perfect for you. It's clean, pure air. Absolutely. Lovely sunshine coming through. Yeah, a long growing season. I mean, the, the season sometimes we've sat out at Christmas, having Christmas lunch here. Uh, not every year, I admit, probably, you know, two or three years in ten, but it gives you an indication just how long the growing season goes on here. Your story about how you came to be the owner of this vineyard is amazing because you were an RAF fighter pilot and then you were a sheep farmer. Yeah, and in between I had a bit of a crash. Well, <laughs> quite a big crash actually, didn't yeah, you? A head-on yeah, collision. Yeah, I had a mid-air collision at um, about 500 miles an hour at uh, head-on and uh, at about 10,000 feet and both the aircraft fell to bits in the collision and I ejected from the wreckage. Did you think at that stage, no more f piloting for me, there's no way I can do that, I've got no, to do something well, else No, well actually I was... A, I was always had planned to leave and do this uh, in, in any case so it just made it a bit more urgent and uh, a bit more necessary I suppose but yeah. uh, no no I, it was always a plan to grow vines. So how did you discover this place? Um, we were very lucky I mean we, we toured all over Cornwall to try and find this place and we found it so um, you know which we found it the first time we ever came to Cornwall in the first day. Wonderful. One would think because of the climate that, that Cornwall would be the home of British wine. But it isn't. The wines yeah. aren't really known. The cider is known, but the wines aren't known. They're not known. I think that probably because um, fruit growing has always been concentrated in sort of the Kent area and uh, places like that, and it was natural that grapes should do that so, uh, as well. And I think that we do have a disadvantage. It can be quite wet in the sort of flowering season, but if we get through that, we have this tremendous advantage of a long growing season. And uh, I think there'll be, you'll see more vineyards in Cornwall. Well, obviously, we're a little bit too early in the season to uh, see any wine being made. But you're working on a sparkling wine now. Yeah, we won a gold medal for sparkling wine yesterday. And um, I'm going to get you to disgorge some for me today, because we're a bit short-handed. Lead the way. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. Don't laugh. Everybody in Cornwall wears these. The latest thing, apparently. <laughs> Why am I dressed like this, please? Well, because I'm going to get you a little bit dirty in a minute. Am I? But beforehand, I'll tell you how we got that one. There's a very nice hood, by the way, which I just think I should show you first, OK? Right, what are we um, doing? Th this, is, this is a new batch. This hasn't been done yet. We're going to be working on an old batch. But this would have started life probably about 18 months ago in a tank. OK. And it's been re-fermented in the bottle, so it's got a sediment in. So, so what you're producing, Bob, is the sparkling wine, the Brut sparkling wine, yeah. which you actually um, provide uh, for Rick Stein, don't you? Yeah, Rick, Rick Stein has it. Yeah. Down in and um, the Prime Minister's drunk it, and all sorts of people have it. And it's it. an award winning wine. Yeah, it won a gold yesterday. Excellent. And um, what uh, we do with this is we have to get rid of the sediment by getting it in the neck to take it out. So at the moment, it's all over the bottle. OK. So twice a day for six weeks, we do this. So you can do that, quarter of a turn. Just a quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, turn do fine. Brilliant. OK. All That's, of them? Yeah, all of them. A whole lot. I'll come back in an hour when you finish. <laughs> OK. So that's that, then you can, that's probably okay. enough, I would think, for that. Okay. And we do that twice a day for six weeks, and then once we've got the sediment in the bottom of the neck, then we have to get it out. Now, um, if you're a French person and you've been doing this in Champagne for 200 years, you don't need a freezer, because you've got the skill. But, but you do. Um, while we develop the skill, we use this freezer, you see. Now, actually, they use these in Champagne now. So what's happened is this, this was made in Devon, in fact, made in Devon. Yeah. And um, we freeze the final part of the, um, of the Champagne and the, and the um, sediment in the bottom, and then... It comes out, uh, just leave it a little bit of a drain. There's some liquid in there yeah, already it's, in the bottom it's of It's food that. quality glycol at minus 28 degrees. Okay. So if you put your hand in there, that would be the last time you used it, probably. Okay. So <laughs> I'll take this very carefully for you over here. Yeah. And, um, and then what you're going to do now is take the neck off. Now, I know you drank loads of beer, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'll just look at this as well. Yeah, put your, put your hood on. And riot gear. Put your riot gear on. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it, this? So you hold that sort of gently like this. You, you put that in, put it right in, right, and then just don't rush. To take us all the time you like just to take it out, but try not to shake the bottle. So is it that basically if I do it too right. fast, the reason I'm wearing this is because it could all just... Yeah, and also the, the pressure in there is six and a half bar, which is the two London bus tyres, really. Oh, wow. And so put that right inside, and I'll get out of the way while you do it. I'm Have I got the right... Um, just hold it on like that. Um, there you go. Now put okay. it right inside, and don't do anything until I'm out of the way. OK. Good luck. Here we go. So nice and slow. Take your time, don't rush. Can I get the grip? Nice and slow. Oh! There, now stand it upright. But keep it in there. That's brilliant. Brilliant. That's a fantastic job. Oh, wow. You've done it. So we haven't lost much? No, you're an expert. Am I employed? Yeah, you're on the roll. Brilliant.
Can we taste it now, please? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, That's what we'll do next. But I can take this stuff off, can't I? Yeah. Thank you. That's great. Well done, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, there can't be many locations as beautiful as this. Just look. The Camel Valley in the distance, Bob's 8,000 vines, Champagne. No, Cornwall. There's lots and oh, lots of uh, champagne in the world, but there's only one Cornwall. Well, you can open the Cornwall, then. Well, you did all the work this morning, so I'll do this bit. OK. And the food as well. That oh. all came um, from local caterers um, within, and every single item on the plate came from a, within a 10-mile radius. Really? Nothing's allowed along the th across the threshold here unless it comes within a 10-mile radius. How oh, marvellous. And you've got the Cornish Yarg cheese. And yeah, yeah, some wild crab boar there. there and, really? Uh, wild yeah, boar? Cornish oh. wild boar, That's Cornish wild. crab, oh. Cornish um, trout, everything. And in case you're thinking that Bob has, you know, a staff of thousands, he doesn't. It's just you and your wife and Alex. And Alex, yeah. Go for it, Bobby, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Well, Bob, continued success, and thank you so much for showing me around. It's been an absolute pleasure. And thank you for giving me my lesson in, what was it called? Disgorgement. You did pretty well. Did I? You did. You're on the team. So I've always got a job. You've got a job. If I need it. Don't go away. Marvellous. I can't wait to taste this. Try the Cornwall. Oh, that's lovely. Fantastic. It really is. It is. Excellent. Yes, and you it's made fantastic. It. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good health. <laughs>